Hello and welcome back, this is Josh here from the Yule Luggers and we are back to Dear Esther and uh, there we go not responding no, Dear no. Esther here we go I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times it's right here. but although I have all the reports and all the witnesses well, and have cross-referenced them within a millimetre using my ordnance survey maps I simply cannot find the location you'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence it's somewhere between the turn off for Sanford and the welcome brake services. But although I can always see it in my rear view mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. Some more of those. Whatever they are. I'm not sure if they're like. I'll stand here. Where am I meant to go? It's over here. I mean, we've just came up from a cliff. We're going back down again, so I presume we can't go that way. Music's quite eerie. Oh, maybe we're going to where they um, cut the. Oh, it looks like it's just another way down, another sloping way down. Or are we going to where they cut the cut the things into the cliffs when people are ill from last episode? An imagined answer phone message. The tires are flat, the wheel spins loosely, and the brake fluid has run like ink over this map, staining the landmarks and rendering the coastline mute, compromised. Where you saw galaxies, I saw only bruises <sighs> cut into the cliff by my lack of sobriety. Dead end. <laughs> Surprise. Oh. Just been playing at World of Tanks all day long. And I got a bit bored of it. So I came on here. I can't remember when last time I recorded on this. Must have been about a month ago or something. Now what's around here? Pick up anything? Well actually I guess not. Can't go that way. Crouch? No. For a swim. For a little swim. No. No. There's a life ring there. Oh, what the hell was that? I don't know that. What's that? Just a hole in the box. Oh, yeah. It's the beacon over there. I watched back over the last episode and it said they left the island on something like 1796 or 1776 or something. Some, 17 something. And this. I don't know. It just seems a little. They're talking about the welcome break services. They're quite recent, so it's been an abandoned island for a very long time. Um, yeah. Bristol. It's just a big boat. Can you get on the boat? Is there a way of getting on it? Oh. 
home. No. Got the kid in. These parcels. Hmm. It's a horrible noise. Don't like that noise. Go this way. Says something on there. There must be a hole in the bottom of the boat. How else could new hermits have arrived? What knife is this? One of those drawings. What does it say on that? Get over there. What's that say? <laughs> Did it all down? X. Hmm. Okay, so I can't read that. Too blurry. Why would they paint that on the outside of the boat? Why would they paint it towards looking towards the sea? Payload C U E A P. Why are there so many ships? I had oh, kidney stones and you visited me in the hospital. After the operation, when I was still half submerged in anaesthetic. Your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape, and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. It's because of the, uh... Because the lighthouse is broken, isn't it? That's why there's so many shipwrecks. Oh, I'm cold. Sand Is this the wind. what Paul saw through his windscreen? Not Lot's wife looking over her shoulder, but a scar in the hillside, falling away to black forever. Uh, uh, I don't know, but I don't want to fall down there. Oh, that looks like there's water down there. Let's go continue our journey. In fact, what would happen if I did fall down there? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try falling in the hole. I hope I don't get stuck straight back to the start again. Skim. Come back. What the hell? Come back. Oh, I'm st I'm, oh. That was oh my god. I don't like that noise, why is that noise? Come back. Come back. Hmm. I don't like this place. Very eerie. Oh, music. I've begun my ascent on the green slope of the western side. I've looked deep into the mountain from the shaft and understood that I must go up and then find the way under. I will stash the last vestiges of my civilization in the stone walls and work deeper from there. I'm drawn by the area and the cliff edge. There is some form of rebirth waiting for me there. Oh, 
Oh yeah, my flashlight. That's right. Just a stone. Let's keep, keep going. It's a house there, Nick. Well, of course you would have saw that. in this game. The Bothy was constructed originally in the early 1700s. By then, shepherding had formalized into a career. The first habitual shepherd was a man called Jakobsen from a lineage of migratory Scandinavians. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. He came here every summer whilst building the Bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife and a lineage. Donnelly records that it did not. Whoa! Oh my god. Malcontented goats and died two years after completing it. There's no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him either. What the hell? Oh my god. There was something. Something right by that door. Something went in that door. So, something went in that door. What the actual hell was that? I don't it, um. the fog. But that's not what I... Better not be something like horrible over here. Like a jump scare thing, whatever they're called. Oh, I forgot about these bushes that turn to wherever I look. They're cool. I like them. Some more paint. Oh, look! What is that a drawing of? I don't know. I saw something. Walk in the door like this, which is like. -la 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 -la. My heart is landfill. These false dawns waking into the still never light. I sweat for you in the small hours and wrap my blankets into a mass. I have always heard the waves break on these lost shores, always the gulls forgotten. I can lift this bottle to my ear, and all there ever is for me is this Hebridean music. Oh, thanks. Wait. It's a scan. Like a baby scan. What's that a picture of? It's like a picture of something. Isn't just loads more paint? That's I guess that's an old bath. What's that? Oh, some clothes, some 2D clothes, GG. I don't want to really explore this place because I don't, oh look there's a chair looking out of the window. What would they look at if they were looking out the window? The sea. I don't like that noise. Oh, I can't. But these eggshells, so they are. What's in here? A bed. Whoa. A bed. 
There was a bed in the cave. What the hell? Why were there beeps and stuff? Oh, look, science. Uh, probably a scientific equation that I still don't have a clue. What's this? Oh, it's just paint cans, and that's just a label off a paint can. Some more 2D clothes there, like. In fact, they're the same clothes in here. Like, reflected. <laughs> oh, a tress. Hmm. Birds? Oh, look, the cave. I guess that's where we're going. But I want to take a look and see if we're in yet because I definitely saw that. I need to rewatch that footage because I am actually higher. Oh yeah, more 2D plants. 2G. Mind you, I can't complain. They look really good. Really good. I mean, there's these red things like on the walls and stuff. What are they? There's one in here on the on the fireplace. That that's a chair. That's what it would have saw. And what's this? This is a bit weird. And then this must have been knocked away for some reason. Oh look, there's another building. Oh we've been we've been in there, haven't we? We've been in here? No, we haven't been in here. Went in the one down there. What's in here? Another big rock. It's like where someone tried to make a fire, but it's gone wrong. Another. Another science drawing. Cigarette. Is that a cigarette? It's that little lion tiger thing. Like an air freshener or something you can get in those cars. In those cars, God. In the cars. Right. Let's go and have a look at the cave. Can't get over there. Ugh, for God's sake, we gotta climb all the way back up. Wait, do we? I don't think we need to go over there. Come back. That's what I'd say if I jumped off anyway. Can't move any quicker than this. But that just leaves me to relax and enjoy the, the scenery. Footnote, the editor comments that at this point Donnelly was going insane as syphilis tore through his system like a drunk driver. He's not to be trusted. Many of his claims are unsubstantiated, and although he does paint a colourful picture, much of what he says may have been derived directly from his fever. But I've been here, and I know, as Donnelly did, that this place is always half imagined. Even the rocks and caves will shimmer and blur with the right eyes. Is that a wooden boat crash? Boat, uh, shipwreck. I only saw two cracks in the edge of the cliffs. So I mean, only two people have been ill and died here. They found here. Jacobson in early spring. The thaw had only just come. Even though he'd been dead nearly seven months, his body had been frozen right down to the nerves and had not even begun to decompose. That's nice. His fingernails were raw and bitten to the quick. They found the phosphorescent moss that grows in the caves deep under the nails. 
whatever he'd been doing under the island when his strength began to fail is lost. He'd struggled halfway up the cliff again, perhaps in a delirium, perhaps trying to reach the Bothy's fire before curling into a stone and expiring. Expiring, that's a good word. Yeah, look. Shipwreck. Oh, this game, I love it. Can we walk through that? No. I was going to see if I could have found a, a, a glitch. Obviously not. Which is good. No. Climbing down to the caves, I slipped and fell and injured my leg. I think the femur is broken. It is clearly infected. The skin has turned a bright, tight pink, and the pain is crashing in on waves, winter tides against my shoreline, drowning out the ache of my stones. I struggled back to the bothy to rest, but it has become clear that there is only one way this is likely to end. The medical supplies I looted from the trawler have suddenly found their purpose. They will keep me lucid for my final ascent. Final ascent? He's going to die. Because he's injured his leg. It's gonna get infected. Now, if that was me, I wouldn't be using out of date stuff which could be old and just rubbish. Because it can make me more ill. I mean, I don't want that. What's over here? What is this? It's a suitcase. Books. It's full of books. Bride, Brideen history. All the books are the same. Why would they have so many of the same book? And why is this suitcase down here? It's only had minimum clothes. But look, there's our trusty jeans. Got to find jeans everywhere. It's all I wear. No shorts. Nothing but jeans. Lovely. Love jeans. <sighs> Night goes out. To the caves. Explore over here. No. To the caves. Some more sciencey drawings. Wait, what? I can see them from here on this rock just there. See them painted on there. Seems like. Or maybe it isn't. Maybe it's a reflection of this blue light. Oh, wow! How is that a candle lit? Look at this. This looks so good. It looks so realistic. No, no, come back. Oh, there we go. Let's pause it. Pause it, pause, pause. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Um, there we go, we've come to the end of chapter two. Um, let's pause it quickly. There we go. Um, I'll set off straight away back from here. Uh, so this is chapter three of four that we're going on to next. So, thanks for watching this ep well, second episode of Dear Esther. Um, Stay tuned on the channel for more of this content. It comes out every other day. So we've got a series that go out every other day. Which I do on my own. There's going to be other things such as a uh, Feed the Beast 
modded modded Yokra feed the beast which we've added mods to that's going to be a series coming up soon so one second uh -huh. sorry for that rude interruption from Jamie there tee -hee. um yeah so what was I saying so stay tuned because we've got the modded feed the beast come in and that'll be going out, so there's going to be my perspective and Jamie's perspective on an episode, and Jack's perspective, um, he's probably going to do it with the other Jack, um, and yeah, so that's going to be cool, and uh, so yeah, what we do is we do an episode every other day, um, and then we have a break for a week, and that's exclude, and that's just me on my own, that's series that I do on my own, so yeah so if you've got any suggestions let me know and uh i'll see you later take care bye bye